keep an eye on it. Error occurred. Oh no. Oh, we are live. Yes, yes. we have an error at the same time. There oh. you go. <laughs> Off to a good start. Oh, it's on my uh, LinkedIn. So, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Wine and Real Estate. Yes, bonjour tout le monde. So tonight we're really excited. We have Leanne and Mike from Nicholson Property Investments uh, to talk to us about their experience as investors, where they're going, where they're heading, and also share about some good wine yes, and good drinks. Wine. Yay. So cheers, guys. <laughs> yes, cheers. cheers. Salud. So yes. Maybe tell us what you're drinking and uh, introduce yourselves at the same time. Mm. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go first, ladies first. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Leah Nicholson, and I am drinking, um, if we can see it there, full, yep. oh, there we go, full galar wine. Mm. So the, the story behind this is we're out of Sault Ste. Marie, and so Sault Ste. Marie is not really too big of a town. And um, mm. the where I'm working now, I've been there for about three years, and just after I started working, started getting to know you know different colleagues and that and I uh, met and I um, this one uh, colleague of mine named uh, Tyson Pistor and he's a very funny guy he's always joking he's always you know pulling pranks doing everything <laughs> and just out of the blue one day we're talking about wine and he says my cousin has a winery oh cool in Niagara Falls and I'm like what happens no Come on, like, haha, <laughs> like, ha, joke, joke. I got you. Like, <laughs> and he's like, no, I swear to God, this is serious this time. He owns a winery, and sure enough, his cousin is Mark Pistor, and he has Fogelar wine. Nice, oh, cool. Yes. We'll have to tag them. So yeah. it's kind of a uh, you know grassroots to Sault Ste. Marie, and um, so I would be remiss to say, um, find him on Facebook, Fogelar uh, wine. And you can find them on Facebook if you're interested in them. Oh, that's Excellent. really cool. Yes. And is it a, like a Cabernet Sauvignon or is it a, a Merlot? Or? This is a Cab Franc. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, very Cab good. Yeah, Cab Franc. That's you very good. Those. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Awesome. And you're drinking, Mike? Uh, so I'm, I don't partake too much in uh, alcohol. It's uh, a lifestyle decision for me. Smart but, move. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy, uh, I really enjoy uh, my coffee. I'm a bit of a coffee addict. So uh, what I chose tonight is I love uh, a little bit of Bailey's in my coffee, but I picked this one. It's Panama Jacks because it's a uh, wine base. So I thought it <laughs> yeah. uh, fits the theme that it could yes. be a, uh, a wine base. And that, I don't know who owns it. I don't know. <laughs> He's not from the Sioux. There's no history. It's, just, it's really good in coffee. It's drinkable. Yeah, That's all that matters. <laughs> cool. Can we're we're having, do you want yes. to present or I present? So it? it's a uh, 33 wines. It's it's a backward oh, yeah. camera thing. It's, it's yeah. uh, with three more yards. Everything's backwards. So I'm always like going. <laughs> <laughs> too much wine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, we're drinking too much. But this is a 2013 Baco Noir. And actually, we bought we bought it in the Peck because we have a cottage there. So, so Prince Edward ah, County. Yes. <laughs> So it's a wine region. So Niagara, of course, is very well known, but this one's closer to home for yes. Ottawa, where mm -hmm. we are. Yeah. So it's good. And we got to meet the uh, winemaker and heard the story behind it. So it's yeah, very good. It's really 2013. Wow, that's kind of a luxury wine. <laughs> I know. We're just like opening up all the big bottles here yes. on wine and real estate. <laughs> yeah. sure. So um, what drew you guys to real estate? Like... Um, so, where, where were you guys at in your life? What were you doing? And just so people can kind of hear your story. Sure. So I actually had a, an uncle who had quite a bit of real estate um, in a small town called Wawa. Um, he was like a little oh, yeah. uh, land baron in, in Wawa. Um, so it always kind of, I seen the lifestyle that he had. Uh, he was a very smart man. He was an accountant. So it always kind of stuck with me growing up. And then when we looked for our first house um, back in 99, we actually, uh, I brought it to and I said, why don't we look for a property that has, um, you know, a rental suite in it that mm. would help us pay for the mortgage. But of course it was our first home. We were excited. You know, it's like, we're just moving in together. We want to start a family. So, you know, we didn't go with that plan. Um, yeah. Fast forward five years later, uh, we bought our forever house. And again, it was, you know, it was our forever house and it was like, we don't really want to have tenants in there, but it always kind of rang with us. Uh, 2014, I went through a restructure 
I had what I thought was one of the greatest jobs in, in the oh, world. No. And uh, you, you go to a meeting and it's, uh, thank you very much. Uh, oh. you know, I need you. Um, so it really got us refocused and really started thinking, you know, we need to do something. Um, and then uh, let Leanne take over the rest of the story. So um, at that point, Mike started pestering me. We need to do this. We need to do this. And I kept saying, <laughs> how, how, what are we going to do? We almost got our house paid off. You know, and it's the old traditional mindset that your house is paid off. Don't get more debt, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was falling victim of it. And he kept saying, come on, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. And, I, you know, we, we have no time. We have family. We, we have our um, recreational life. You know, we go out camping. We do all that kind of stuff. And um, in 2017, uh, se sorry, 2017, I started a new job in January. And uh, it was just kind of a career advancement, I thought it was. I moved companies. Mm. Um, but then a few months in, I got an uneasy feeling that things weren't right. Oh no. Yeah. And Mike, was Mike, uh, back at, at work or? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he was back oh, at work. Okay, good. So he was back at work and it was one of those things that we can live off. We, we don't overextend ourselves that we can live off of one income, but it's not comfortable. Right. Yeah. You want to do those extras. So I said, you know, finally I gave in to Mike and I said, you know what, maybe we need to expand. Maybe we need to try something because we need income. Like if something happens, we need income. Yeah. So we decided um, uh, to, we enlisted a real estate agent at the time and uh, who's still our real estate agent actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, okay, show me what a property looks like. So, in, you know, in our area, what $400,000 will bring you in a month. You. What will 300,000, what will 200,000, what will 100,000? So he did, we went through four properties and um, the first three, I was really discouraged because I thought, I don't want to be a slumlord. I wouldn't live here if my life <laughs> depended on it. Like, no. Yeah. Rather camp. <laughs> it was funny because one of them, as we went to go in a, a doorway, he picks up a book and he goes like this. <laughs> I was, what are you doing? He says, oh, it's a real, real estate trick, he said. You don't want to walk into the cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I said, I said, I don't think we're cut. Like, I don't think we're going to, this is not right. Like, I don't want to do this. So we finally found, we went to see the last one. So all in one night and it was a fourplex. And I walked in and I said, you know what? I could live here. I could do this. And nice. then the numbers made sense. Luckily, we didn't realize how much sense they did make at the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> otherwise we'd have bought eight. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay, let's pull the let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. Let's do it. And we closed the property in October. Uh, a month later, uh, I was laid off. So that's oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was really good timing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And what a smart way to look at it, guys. Like thinking of, okay, what can we get for 100, 200, 300, 400? It really gave you, I'm sure, a really good yeah. idea of the market. Yeah. We've yeah. never been in that situation. Like the markets where we've bought. It's like, so crazy. Just buy, yeah. just buy now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you blink, it's gone. So <laughs> yeah, visiting no. properties, that's a luxury we don't often get. Yeah, we don't get to do that very much anymore. <laughs> It's like a virtual no. tour and you want it or not, kid too late, it's told. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or even not. Yeah. Just look at the numbers. <laughs> yeah, we, exactly. Uh, we really lucked out with our first property. Um, it was, it, when it was listed, it was very overpriced and it was on the market for, when we looked about yeah. three months um, and they had done, I think two price reductions at that point. Wow. We went through, I remember my agent yeah. saying, it was, it's, it's still too high. And uh, that night, I think after we were done the tour and you know the agent other agent got a hold of him and said hey you know what did you think and he said well they were interested but it was too high and she said well we're gonna do a twenty five thousand dollar price reduction Ooh. she said yeah. um <laughs> it's gonna drive some traffic but if you guys are interested in putting in an offer you know come in with a strong offer they're gonna do a twenty five thousand dollar price reduction but come in with a strong offer um you know he's ready to sell so we were able to get it you know at a I want to say a huge reduction, but, but a good you know, price. It's that yeah. important thing of you know pricing your product right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it it worked the reverse for us <laughs> because it was overpriced. It sat for so long. Um, yeah. We were able to take advantage of a couple of price reductions, and then that third price reduction we were the only ones that knew about it. So oh, it cool. it made it make a lot more sense. Mm. 
And that's something that we are seeing in uh, hot markets, believe it or not. Some stuff goes way overpriced and it is expiring. So some listings go and expire and then people are buying them at a reduced price, which is unheard of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. so, but it is possible. And it's so important to stick to your numbers. So a very smart move. I'm sure you had certain numbers in mind or some, some sort of strategy. So mm -hmm. that's great. Congrats. And don't overpay. So yeah. it's better not to buy than overpay because then you're stuck with something that might be bad. Yeah. Exactly. It, we obviously understand that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We looked at it at the time. Okay, this is what rent's coming in. These are kind of our expenses that we know about. Okay, so it looks good. We we'll still bring money in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we were lucky. Our our first property, um, you know, we put to twenty percent down, but also it even after that, it, it cash flowed very well. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Our agent that we used, we were lucky. Uh, you know, we he owned rental properties himself. Oh, good. So, so you could kind of counsel you. Yeah, he had all kinds of equations, right? Oh, you know, like the 1% rule and, you know, this and your gross rents, net rents. And we had no idea at that point, but it, it made sense what he was, you know, explaining to us price per door. And um, so he was able to give us a pretty good education on, on a lot of that stuff uh, going into our first unit where if you, you know, didn't have an agent that understood multifamily, mm -hmm. who knows what we would have offered on it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So are you guys uh, focusing uh, in your town, in Sault Ste. Marie? We, we were up until, <laughs> we uh, yeah, <laughs> six months ago. Um, you know, COVID, I think it's done it everywhere. It just really put prices uh, kind of at a whack for Sault Ste. Marie. It's, it would be considered a secondary market. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you can pay, pay a fair price for a property and you can still get a decent rent for it and you can cash flow. Um, but on the increase end of it like the equity increase you don't get the uh, a huge you might get a couple percent each year okay which, which you know is good for the sioux st Marie area but now it's just this last six months yeah it's driven prices up we're seeing uh with COVID, of course people working from home um we're hearing people from southern ontario you know buying places yeah. sight unseen putting in you know virtual offers mm -hmm. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Yeah, we're guilty of that. Not not in your town, yes. but in many spots. Yes. <laughs> we never go and see them. We're like, yeah, let's just buy it. <laughs> so now yeah. let Leanne talk about what else we have in the works there. And yeah, absolutely. We'd love so, to hear about it. Yeah, so well, after we bought a fourplex, um we kind of refocused and figured out um how to buy more properties because we were at this, you know, from 2017 to last year, we were kind of how do we do this again? We don't, we can't do it anymore. Mm. And so we did the Mel and Dave mentorship group, which was fantastic and gave us that knowledge base on how to move forward. So we bought um, two semi detached properties. Congrats. And found, yeah, found that was really working and they cash flowed very nicely. Uh, we could get good lifts out of them. And then, like Mike said, six months ago, COVID just, you know, went rampant on the Sioux and pricing went up and everything went crazy and it still mm -hmm. is. So um, we kind of like, okay, now what? Now we got to find a <laughs> secondary market for beats. Sake. <laughs> a secondary market for your secondary market? <laughs> a, a tertiary market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in talking with actually you guys as well, you guys said, uh, thought of going down into the States and with the right club, you know, information that you guys obtained from them. And so we started to follow suit and said, maybe that is a good secondary market. <laughs> Peer pressure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but the, the States is a whole nother ball game. So I thought we found it anyway, and I'm sure that you guys as well is, is with the program that we're purchasing in, you don't have all that problem. You're not in a, a price war because it was a, total disaster when no one wants to buy those places <laughs> <No>. so <laughs> you're guaranteed access <laughs> so, exactly. it's like reverse psychology right. here if yeah. one wants to buy there like no one wants to buy so. yes we have to be creative right guys i mean that's kind of how it works <laughs> yeah yes. exactly so what has been your biggest challenge so far in your journey like uh, obviously being kind of priced out of a market could be a challenge, but have you guys faced other challenges? Uh, I think going back to 
Um, you know, we, we bought, bought that first property, property in 2017. 2017. We, we took some equity out of our personal home. Um, we probably should have taken more to time. We didn't know if we would enjoy being landlords, but we really did. We've seen the benefits of it. But then at that point, because we redid our mortgage, it would be five or ten thousand dollars to reopen up our mortgage again. And then it was just like, let's just sit and wait until we have more equity. Yeah. Um, so it was that traditional mindset thinking that, you know, we have to wait until we have the money. Mm. Um, Big so, mistake, know, but uh, I understand we were the same as well. We're like, yes, let's scrounge and scrape. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, And then also just mindset, you know, other people, anytime we mentioned, you know, we're looking at properties, people were like, oh, my uncle's friend's cousin has a place and oh, it's horrible. And oh, you know, they lost everything and yeah. Yeah, just trash the place and yes. <laughs> nobody's going to pay your rent and all that and just filtering all that kind of stuff out. Mm, yeah. yeah. And even now we find, um, you know, we talk to people about, you know, going to the United States and right away people oh, get, like, <laughs> like and then we say Detroit and then their head just about blows they off. Think but, you're crazy. You know, it's understanding, you know, the processes and the team that we have in place and it's overcoming those and it's the mindset. And, you know, if we're going to buy remotely, we might as well buy somewhere that's, you know, landlord friendly versus you know, yeah. so tenant friendly, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm going to go remote, yeah. I might as well take advantage of, um, you know, a good property manager, uh, you know, good tenant laws, uh, landlord laws. Like it's important to have both of them, but, you know, we want to have a balance, a, an e equal playing field, right? We want to provide a good quality product and we yeah. want to have a good quality tenant, right? So it's... Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about fairness and that's what people don't get. Do you think if you have all these protective laws, actually that's kind of how you turn people into slum lords, I find, because you have no budget to fix the place anymore and you're stuck with people that trash it. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just bad. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's it's great that you can find markets, like you said, that are, are more landlord friendly. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how has taking risks been a challenge for you? I think it's... Um... Mike and I have different risk levels. Um, so normal. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's about here. Yeah. And then I'd say stop the bus, reverse. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. you're like us. Yes. <laughs> I'm the gas pedal, she's the brake. So you're reverse, so that's even worse. No, I thought gas. She's the she's the brake like me. Oh, she's yeah. the brake, but reverse too. Oh yeah, she's yeah. Like, oh, you're worse. Oh yes, yeah, you're worse than just being the brake. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you see things by, while reversing. You're like, oh, you find things and new vision. So that's great. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Mike. I mean, we looked at um, the the U.S. a couple months ago, and he was like, "Let's go, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll just like whatever we can do. Like we're just gonna like sign up now." And I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> we need to we need to look at our finances. We need to look at what we can do here. We need to you know let's let's educate ourselves." So I, I pull him back. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to not let these two talk too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's by the whole country. <laughs> and Leanne, it's good that she can be grounded. And again, she always says, you know, exit before you enter, right? Yeah. And it's that, you know, what's our plan, right? Like, what's our plan A? What's our plan B? What's our plan C? And yeah. it's making sure that, you know, if we're, we're, you know, doing these challenges that, you know, we're making the right choice. And, you know, there is a plan B and a plan C if, mm. if it doesn't work out, you know, everything's, worked out fantastically for us, but we need to be prepared if something doesn't work. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that, I was afraid at sometimes I'm afraid that my house is gonna be sold when I come home because that's <laughs> like yeah, we don't need this house, we can go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. But it's your she's forever like, home. She's like speeding to go home so that she makes her stop sold. Wow, okay, that's a new level. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your why guys why why real why are you guys investing in real estate if you're already working and yes you had a bit of a setback like unemployment and laid off but what, it, ke what keeps you going yeah <laughs> 
I think, uh, and Michael would agree, uh, we don't want to be in our structured nine to fives. Um, we don't want people dictating if I if we have a job or not today or tomorrow, because that's how volatile it is, right? Yeah. And to both have experienced that, it's, do we want to go down that road again? Potentially, no. Um, we want to- opening for sure. <laughs> yeah, we want to start creating our own path and dictating our own lifestyle, right? And how we're going to get there. Yeah. And 2014 was a huge eye opener for us, um, you know, to go from having a fantastic job to going to a meeting and, you know, it's you know, driving home and picking up the phone and, hey, they were great enough to I had, a, I had a company car. They said, well, you can keep the company car for two more weeks. Like they let me, there was a really good package I got, but it's still like, yeah, they had, you, know, you got a phone, you got to say, Hey, I got, you know, I don't have a job anymore. Uh -huh. um, I gotta, we got the company car for two more weeks. we got to find a car. We got to do this. You know, we got the kids were, you know, a lot okay. younger than, you know, we got most to feed. So it, it came that multiple streams of income and yeah. you know, what can we do? And that went from, that was a fantastic job. Like I love that job. Even right now, like, I really enjoy my job, but you know, is it going to be there tomorrow? I hope so. That's it. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not true. So you guys are both working full time and doing the real estate investing. We yeah. are. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. yes. And property managing our properties here. Oh, as well. oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> So you guys don't sleep, eh? Right? No. <laughs> so, well, it's all yeah. about planning, right? Yeah. It's all about yes, that. yes. Talk to us about your your, your wall. I find that that's. Uh, we were talking about it just before going on the live, and I found that was so inspiring because, like we said, we're not very organized. <laughs> <laughs> so part of um, before I moved jobs and lost my job, um, I was in a company that um, said, we're going to send you for lean training. And, you know, when you're in, you probably can both um, – you know, relate to it that, you know, your company says go to training and some, you know, nine times out of 10, it's maybe good. So training, bad. Maybe not. So, you know, yeah. so I'm like lean. Oh, here we go. You know, <laughs> it was one full day a month for 12 months straight. And it's, Whoa, like, okay, it's quite a commitment. It's a commitment. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep an open mind. <laughs> so I went and within the first hour I was like hooked and I was like, wow, this is, amazing and you have to have the buy and you have to have the mindset and and i did mm. so one of the techniques that we learned um was basically i mean in a um in layman's terms this is an organization board so if you can see it uh we have three yeah, columns. Let's, um, change yeah. the screen i don't know if we'll, it's gonna work oh the opposite <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, anyway, right, so, yeah, there you go. We can see it. Yeah. So you can see we have a column to do, doing and done. And basically they're just uh, post-it notes, big post-it notes. And I write um, different things that Mike's works from home during the day. I'm out in the office. Um, so when he has time carved out in his day, um, it's basically the honey-do list almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want one of those then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at any given time, and you can see your progress. So it's very visual. So when we're doing something, it moves from the to-do to the doing. And then doing, and when it's finally done, done. And you can see now your successes, right? You can see how much we have done. And eventually, you know, we take them off and you know, there creates more space again, right? Yeah, so look it, at how well Mike listens to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're well trained. <laughs> yeah. So we did it as just a big wall because it's just how our home office is, is set up. That we just mm -hmm. said that we have a blank wall. Let's just throw it up on the wall. Yeah. So at any given time, you, you see it all the time, right? So it's, it's really helped Mike because as we talked in the beginning, um, Mike was just like you, Francois, that had papers everywhere. I come in and go, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm very, you know, I'm very visual. Like, I'll write a lot of stuff down. Like, you always on post-it notes, and it's here and there. And then the aunt comes in. She's moving papers. I'm like, no, no, no. That's that's my numbers. I got figured out. Now I'll, I'll write it all out. Like, it drives me nuts because I'll write out, like, when we're thinking about a property. Like, I'll physically, I'll write it out because I like this. I'm visual. And I'll write out, okay, it's this much money. 20% down is this much. And, it's almost like when I write it down, I'll remember it. Yeah, yeah, mm. it registers. So there's yeah. something about it. It's like, just do an Excel sheet. And I'm like, I can do Excel, but I can write it down just as quick. But then <laughs> I've slowly transitioned over now and I'm doing more in Excel. 
um, because then it, it's there, right? We can go back to it. It's not going to blow away or so. <laughs> yeah. and then I'm, the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky. I've been working from home and um, that's nice. Yeah, my job, I don't say my job structure, but I started at a certain time. I take a lunch at a certain time and I'm done at a certain time. And I found work time. I focus on work, you know, and I'll plan my stuff for lunchtime. So then at lunchtime, I can come over here. Oh, I got to get all this person. I got to get all that person. And then, you know, my lunch is over and I finish my day. And some days I can be down at 3.30 if I start at 7.30. So, you know, I'll pick, and then it'll give me an hour and a half at the end of the day. And then also, you know, building up, building our team members and finding, you know, creating a power team and using a lot of these, uh, you know, some of the brokers, mortgage brokers that we met, you know, when are you available? Uh, hey, can you, can we jump on a call at five o'clock? Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, our, you know, our bookkeeper accountant, we booked the appointment. It's, it's a Friday at five o'clock. Wow. So it's getting outside of that. You know what I mean? We don't want to be going to an account Friday <laughs> at five o'clock, but you know what I mean? They're available and yeah. It's not like we have a whole lot going on right now. Fridays at five o'clock, anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's it. But that's yeah. you're working at from home because you can, you know, um, just be like you don't have all that extra time to go to no work commuting. and getting, you know, yes. getting it ready. As much as if you were going into the office, like you don't have to make your lunch and you know. <laughs> Even if it's a five minute drive, it still adds up. Like five minutes, scrape the car in the winter, whatever. Yeah. It's still something else. And as long yeah, as you even, even, even Leanne's car. Yeah. <laughs> no, I park in the garage. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so That's we've been lucky great. that way. Wow. And I think we you're incorporating or have incorporated recently. Yes. Uh, we just actually incorporated, and that was kind of. Uh, Congrats. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But it's a new level of organization, your corporate meetings now. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I told them that when they, we, we did the board of directors and like, what's your position? I said, well, I got to be the CEO because I need to tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, um, yeah, vice president, secretary. I think. But, <laughs> wow. But, but yeah, oh, that's, cool. that's helped us. Um, we're actually, we are in the process of moving our fourplex into the corporation. And oh. then uh, after that, then we're going to move, I believe, our two single family homes into the corporation. Um, oh, so, yeah, it's getting set up and then getting those protections in place. And then getting that slowly over time, getting that that debt service load off of our personal profile. Yeah. Into our corporation. Yeah. That's great. It's going to free up, yeah, some credit space for you guys. So that way you can buy some more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's exactly. And I think I wish we would have known and done it sooner for sure. Um, unfortunately, we kind of, we come where we were learning about it, but then we bought our two uh, semis and yes. then it was like, Oh, maybe we should have been. Right. Like, yeah. We were kind of going backwards, but. <laughs> right. Well, you could have had a trust agreement with your corporation and yourselves. And yeah. then just slid it into yeah. the corporation. But yeah. From now on, sometimes it's better. Hind hindsight, right? <laughs> well, that's exactly it. We didn't reverse far enough. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Leanne, I'm not proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it's what? exciting. And then obviously with us going into the to the United States, like you as well, setting yeah. up the corporation on that side as well. So it's yeah. so much to learn. <laughs> Yes, yeah, and two is. corporations there, so that's a yeah. new level, like the LP and LLC, and I never remember which one does which, but anyway, <laughs> one of them does something. <laughs> so, yeah. so what kind of um, attracted you guys to, to Detroit as well? I mean, um, it was just because you, that's what you had heard about, or had, had you been looking around at a few places in the States? With, with, yeah, yeah. Just, again, going back to, you know, researching different areas. And you see a lot of information on, you know, the internet, Facebook. Um, there's a lot of people investing in the United States, but with that distance and with that uncertainty, and we find even when we travel in the States, you know, you can be going through a very nice neighborhood and you get two blocks down and then you're, you don't know where you are, right? It's, you don't stop for a stop sign. Like you feel uncomfortable. Nope. So that always kind of worried us. And then, you know, once we met James and Wojtek and they brought us through the presentation and then that, you know, their specialty is that area 
So mm-hmm. if you get that reassurance that it's a, you know, a, a B plus neighborhood, um, you're not worried about, you know, buying in the wrong area, you know, the, the finding a property manager, talking to people in a mentoring group, of course, um, I think you guys have had some challenges finding, you know, property management for oh, yeah. different areas. <laughs> So, oh yeah, <laughs> you know. So again, going through that process and looking at different areas, and it's like, I think this is a good way to enter the United States. It's, I'm sure, you know, maybe it's costing us a little bit more up front, but we're using yeah. all their knowledge. Well, that's their, it. The turn, it's a turnkey solution, right? So there's yeah, like I'd rather spend a couple extra thousand dollars on a property, knowing that, you know, I'm going to be set up as a, you know in a corporation, right? Knowing that it's going to be a good area knowing that there's going to be a property manager. Um, if I'm fine with paying somebody to look after my property, but you know, I want to make sure that at eight o'clock at night, I'm not getting a phone call because you know, because the sewer's backed up. That's what we have a property management for. So I want to make sure it's being done right. Yeah. Um, so with that system, it, it just, it, it's a good transition. And then maybe over time, as we grow, we can kind of venture off onto our own. And once we build up a buffer and a safety net and um, you know, get some more liquid cash mm-hmm. in the United States and then, then we can take a little bit more of a chance. But this one was a, a great opportunity for a turnkey project. Exactly. Yeah, it is a great way to transition. We actually have a question. So uh, Fidelity Pressure, pressure washing. washing. Yeah, asks. we need that at our house here if you guys want to. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you're an auto. <laughs> but uh, they would like to you guys to explain a little bit what the advantages of incorporating are. Yeah, why did you do it? Just for so the paper? Maybe, maybe for you. Like, what is the advantage of for you? So I could be CEO of something. There you go. <laughs> the nameplate. Yes. So there's, you hear so much talk going back and forth either way, right? And some people yeah. say, well, this and that. For us, um, we, have a, we have a huge end plan. You know what I mean? Um, we want to own a lot of properties. We want to be full-time real estate investors. Um, we enjoy our jobs, but in, you know, maybe it's five years, we'd like to be able to be our own bosses. Um, so maybe it's adding more, more things to that portfolio. Maybe it's adding some property management to that portfolio. Um, also, we wanted to build a future for our family, for our kids. Um, so having that corporation allows us to add them on. Um, and then slowly over time, you know, transitioning shares to them, um, that there's all the different kinds of classes of shares and we could give them more shares and less shares. And then, you know, there is some tax advantages and then also getting that um, debt burden off of ours. Um, mm-hmm. Right now we both work two decent jobs. Uh, we make some good money. Um, you know, our property's cash flow, but if, if we want to just concentrate on real estate investing and we don't have a nine to five, we don't have a T4, well then all that debt load you know, under our personal names could really affect, you know, choices later on if we want to go out and buy a new vehicle or um, get, yeah. buy another house or another travel trailer, right? It's So for us, it's there's five or six different things there. And I think we really, really started looking at it um, and it really came to a heads with us that after we bought the fourplex center to uh, semi-detached homes, then the brokers started saying, you're maxed out. You can't get another mortgage. And it's yeah. like, well, now what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. No, we want to do more. So at some point, they're going to say, you know, Commercial. if you don't incorporate and you do want to grow, they're going to say you can't go anymore. Yeah. So we didn't want somebody to dictate to us that we can't go anymore. So yeah, we can. We will. So you're a bit right. of a rebel. No I dictating <laughs> my job and what I can do. <laughs> I like it. Are you allowed to say no to, to Leanne, Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happy wife is a happy life. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we hope that that answered your question for fidelity pressure washing. Uh, but for us as well, like yeah, incorporating, yeah, it's had all kinds of advantages. And mm-hmm. again, like you said, the kids, eventually the family trust. So you need to have all these corporations. Eventually you can have multiple corporations that lend to each other. Uh, so anybody listening, do your due diligence. We're not account. Well, I don't think anyone's yeah. an accountant here. So no. <laughs> check <laughs> with your lawyers. professionals. We're not lawyers, <laughs> no. but that's from experience and what we've uh, learned along the way. But yes, exactly. Yeah. So, um, what has been your favorite project so far? I don't know. I don't know. We are, 
two single family homes probably come to light the most because they were the first two that we brought with that we bought with OPM. Mm. Um, yeah, that's other, exciting. Other people's money. So I remember it was kind of like, okay, how do we do this? You know, we're <laughs> developing, everybody's doing it. It's like, okay. And I remember the first time I asked somebody, it was like, Oh, what do I, you know, what do I say? How do I do this? <laughs> you know, when we presented, we used, you know, the cash flow matrix, all the tools that we had in it, it was like, yeah, that, that looks good. Um, so we're able to buy those. And then we didn't realize at the time we did, but we didn't, they, they needed, you know, cosmetic flips almost like, so we put all new flooring in there, you know, all new trims and new doors and painted. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing the equity that we've, we've had in those. And then, mm -hmm. Between that, you know, it probably gave us, you know, we put about 8,000 into them. It would probably gain about $15,000 in equity. Plus then on top of that, with what's going on in Sault Ste. Marie right now, yeah, we probably gained up. another. So we probably had about a thirty-five dollars to $40,000 left in both of those properties, wow. and, yeah. which is unheard of at Sault Ste. Marie for that time frame, right? So those oh, are great. Kind of pretty exciting for us, yeah. Mm -hmm. In less than a year, right? So Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. So did you guys do the work yourselves or do you hire out? Are you handy? <laughs> we, a combination of both. Oh, that's <laughs> so okay. there's certain tasks that like, I, I will go in and paint. So, um, the, and we enlist the, the help of our kids. Yes. <laughs> they said, this is your legacy. You need to participate. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll do things like that. But once it gets into something more, um, you know, painting to a degree, like in our uh, stairwells. stairwells are two stories high. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing scaffolding. And, you know, no. Stuff like that. He's like, oh, that's out. <laughs> and we'll do the life is worth more. Yeah. yeah. In the second unit, I did a, quite a bit of the flooring. I probably did about, uh, I had a guy help me with the main floor. And then the second floor and the stairs in the basement, um, I did that uh, with actually the girls and the uh, Leanne helping. And actually, oh. the basement. You know, me and the, the girls did the most of it. Um, yeah, yeah it, it, like that. Some of that laminate now, it's so easy to work with. Yeah. Yeah, and, it uh, is user friendly. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, click, click, and you cover like tons of square footage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I believe, like, if you're adding value, so yes, like it works for you. You're good at painting, you're good at doing certain things, then do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, it's good to know as well the value of the work. So when someone's quoting you, then you know you have a good understanding of exactly. what's involved. Yeah. I know where I don't add value, and oh, I yes. don't add value in flooring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many floors I've laid, and it separates. And anyway. Always bad. So it's anyway. two weeks to do something that would be a minute. Anyway. He has been fired from all flooring jobs for our business. No more flooring. <laughs> I can paint. I can demolish. But no flooring so how are yeah. your kids are they getting quite involved with your uh, business they they are so like i said they they come and they help um they do that respect and then um they've actually have their little savings accounts because they have their part-time jobs they're old enough for that um and now they're saying i want to invest so yeah. they've actually oh, started giving us money now so we'll you know they gain interest oh, on yeah. us and we have our deal with <laughs> yeah. them but yes <laughs> yeah. oh that's so cool yeah yeah so they're going to be part of uh they're going to be you know one of our investors for the short property um you know both of them and we did up a, a promissory note with them with a amortization table and showing that uh, perfect yeah mm -hmm. they agreed to give us some money for one year and uh you know, we'll do a balloon payment with them at the end so yeah. learning about it wow. right? so they understand and showing them you know how it works and how the interest and I remember we sat down and I said to Brooke, uh, you know, your savings account. And I said, look and see how much interest yeah. you got. And it was like three cents or something for the month, right? I can sell it. Like, <laughs> times that by 12. And I said, okay, so if you do it with us. And I said, I gave her the interest rate and I times that. And it was, it'll be, I don't know, $100 or $120. After much better. Like, yeah. She's like, the bank was only going to give me like... 20 cents because it was like 0 0.01 percent or something crazy oh, yeah. yeah it's really low yeah yeah, yeah. so wow, then she was is... yeah then she was like oh you can have my money <laughs> <laughs> take it please yeah, yeah. what an amazing way for her to learn about that though wow i wish yeah imagine our parents if they taught it well if they knew and they taught us the same yeah. where we'd be it's yes. gonna be amazing wow and that's and what we keep telling them learn from us because 
I said, in all honesty, there is a legacy for you guys, but I don't want to just hand it over to you and no. just say, you know, you do have to learn about it and learn what it does and how to succeed in it. And they're going to innovate it. from what you do. They're going to go different ways, do certain things yeah, and yeah. Point things out. Like we're impressed sometimes by our kids when they point out and we're like, oh, yes. you never thought about it that way. So it's yeah. really cool. Well, I think that when you leave a true legacy to your children, they, they are able to kind of take it and then improve it and kind of move with mm -hmm. it, you know, yeah. so that's, yeah. Yeah. that's part of the, the whole legacy. So I think that that's great that you guys have already started out. But I agree they need to work for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If they don't appreciate it otherwise, they that's just, exactly. yeah, they just. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It. Yeah. Our kids are pros at demolition, removing carpets, painting, yeah. breaking tile, like little mosaic one by one. Oh, yes. <laughs> or those sticky tiles that are super oh. hard to get off. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, we pay them well, like yes. minimum wage. It's great. Yes. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they get all that learning experience. Exactly. Yeah. And our daughter is an Instagram star. So she helps us with our Instagram posts. Our son does our, our website. So they kind of get a little bit of a taste of everything. And I think that that's, that's kind of uh, yeah. the goal. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I and, tell them, I said, you know, we're becoming experts in OPM. Yeah. And I told them, I said, you guys can become experts in OPE. Yeah. Said, What's that? I said, other people's experience. Yes. <laughs> That's the best. That's worth That's even great. more than OPM. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. We've really yeah. learned the value of that. So yeah. yeah. Oh, that's absolutely a great idea. So what would you say is your best real estate uh, investment tip or story? Uh, I think. I would say start yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't have to be figure something out. You know, maybe if it, you're looking for your first property, look for a, like a live in, you know, look by a, you know, if you stay four, four units and under, um, you know, you could take advantage of that 5% down um, or look for something with, you know, with an in law suite or, uh, you know, a basement apartment and maybe it's an Airbnb or it's, it's something, but, it's that, you know, another source of income, right? Multiple streams of income. Yeah. So, you know, figure something out. Maybe it's, a, you know, a, a live-in flip or it's, a, you know, a little bit longer of a, you know, buy something, fix it up. You know, you don't have to move into a turkey home. You know, no, we've never done that. that works, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it's so smart. And I would say um, keep learning. Learn and learn and learn. And still, even after we did the mentorship group, we're still, you know, involved in it. We're still uh, going out there and, you know, listening to the podcast, listening and learning and learning and learning and building that work. Because that's just a, a wealth of information and a wealth of knowledge that, you know, you can tap into. Like, who knew even a year ago that when we started the mentorship group that we'd be going into the United States? Like, yeah. Thought, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. And I find that a lot of um, in the mentoring group, and, and you guys are very exceptional at it, is you're, you're sharing information with other people yes. who aren't where you guys are now. So they're they're encouraged by what you're doing and what, how you're helping other people. Yeah, it's a huge wealth to be able to share that. And the group, like it's a big value add. So yeah, yeah. like I see you guys encouraging people in the group all the time. Or just writing it, writing things that you guys have already learned. When people ask questions, I, I find that that's so nice because I'm sure that maybe for you it's not much, but for the people that don't know that, they're like, like well, wow. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I think um, obviously, you know, I want to thank you guys. Uh, you know, Fr mm -hmm. Francois and yourself have been, you know, a wealth of knowledge for us. And you know, anytime I ask you guys a question, you know, you get back to us, and it's that, you know. You know, people are helping us, so we want to help other people, right? We want to return those. Yeah. And it's that, again, going from that scarcity mindset of, you know, there's tons of houses to buy. You know what I mean, there's, yeah. there's tons oh, yeah. of property. Sometimes we're bummed out when we put an offer in our place and somebody beats us out. But, you know, we'll find something else, right? Like, it's, it, we're not starving, you know, by any means. Yeah. Um, you know, we live a comfortable life. And if, if I can share my knowledge with somebody else, um, you know, who knows in, in a couple of years where we're going to be and, you know, what we're going to be doing and then, you know, maybe somebody, um, you know, I might be in a situation where somebody could help me out, you know. So I've always been um, 
like a networker where I, you know, mm-hmm. I enjoy helping people or, or connecting people. So it, uh, it was nice that, you know, people are helping me, so I'm going to help somebody else. That's yeah, excellent. I think that that's a key part of networking. People, mm-hmm. people remember people that help them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You can't always take, right? No, no, you have to give, you have to fill that tank first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love languages. Yeah. You fill the tank and then you withdraw. So it's like a yeah. bank account. I mean, if you don't deposit, well, you can't pull any money out. So yeah. unless it's OPM, <laughs> but yeah. even, even OPM, I mean, you've kind of deposited something. You've built a relationship usually with the person. There's something there mm-hmm. and that's how you're able to, to make it work. You create win-win situations, so yeah, yeah, yeah it's and it's amazing how powerful it is, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, that's so true. So, yeah. are, what are you guys uh, hoping to do in twenty twenty one? Are you guys looking at other markets other than the the Sioux and Detroit, or what are you guys uh, brewing? What's next? <laughs> Where are you guys going? Because we might follow. <laughs> well, now that you've opened the door, I have another really, Class really... was going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, crazy plan I think you guys would like. So Leanne will probably pull the brake. But <laughs> pull and the me brake. too. Put the brake over. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Put it in reverse. Yes. <laughs> infinite banking. Look it up. I don't know if you know the infinite banking concept. You become your own banker. So you don't need oh. banks and you don't need open. OPM. So that's next level. But I do want to continue <laughs> with OPM because OPM, you're helping others. So it's the more yeah, charitable yeah. side. It's a win-win, right? <laughs> I have this like, little sign like, that comes up behind, behind, beside me that says, help. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look, you guys look it up seriously. That's our next thing. So okay. Frost, what keeps talking about it and he's reading a few books about it but i just can't wrap my head around it so anyway oh. <laughs> maybe i'll get it, i'll get to it eventually but it's, okay. you know after he talks he talks to me about it after i did my eight hour day at work and then we already oh, have yeah. like, tons of things to do for the real estate business and then i'm like i don't understand infinite banking don't talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so now that was interrupted what are you guys hoping to do in <laughs> i think I think we're open to obviously looking at other secondary markets too. And, you know, Mm -hmm. if it's purchasing more in Detroit right now, that's what we see us doing. But at any time, Mike could go squirrel on me again and, you know, find (laughs) something else. So (laughs) he goes rogue sometimes. (laughs) And I just, I got in trouble yesterday there because I got club hosts uh, two days ago. I finally, I went from, uh, I was been Android forever. And uh, my kids couldn't believe it because I went to uh, I went to an iPhone just so I can get the Clubhouse app. And she said on Sunday, like, are you going to do anything else in Clubhouse? I'm like, I'm going to find somebody in Clubhouse. Like, I'm going to find the next greatest thing. Like, but it's there's so much in there. It's it's finding yeah. the niche and finding you know the right people to connect with, and you know learn. Like, I love learning, right? I love, and I can do lots of stuff, and I, I'll have it play in the background, and I can hear, and I can, I I read, and I almost fall asleep. But like an ebook or you know listening to something, I can I can do about five things at once if I have something going in the background. Oh my goodness! But that's then I'll, <laughs> I'll hear something right, and then it's like okay, I just heard something. Now. Gotta pay attention now. Yeah, <laughs> and then I, I'll filter, you know, drill down into that. But I think definitely the U.S. properties is our main focus for 2021. Um, I think yeah, a, right. a, a year time frame. We're hoping. In that year time frame, uh, definitely to get two, potentially three properies. Mm-hmm. And then that'll put us in a really good situation with cash flow, with American cash flow as well. Yeah. And then we can start, you know, do we want to continue in Detroit or do we want to look at other markets? More yeah. lucrative ones, a bit further south where you can yeah. enjoy <laughs> some of it. Well, you know, we, we'd love to say, uh, you know, five or seven years to be... Uh, you know, somewhere warm for three or four months and, you know, yeah. managing our properties and, and doing other stuff. Uh, I just recently looked into a uh, mortgage broker. Um, you know, that's something that kind of caught my eye, especially we've been doing all this, um, you know, not tricky financing, but, uh, you know, all three of and like that. And <laughs> these unique markets, um, you know, maybe if I could, you know, look at something like that and specialize in something like that, you could, you still have a nine to five and do that, but, um, but it's still in the real estate field. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
Diversify. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it's good that you can have even something like that's the real estate uh, related and still do the investing so that you're kind of you're you're kind of working around your, your network in, in many ways. Yeah. Which is great. And we you already have a place where it's warm three or four months of the year. It's called Canada. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's not there July right. and August if we're lucky. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> So if you guys could start over again, what would you do differently? I think start investing as soon as we could start investing or like into real estate, right? Like, in 1999? Yeah, you should have yeah. right? in 1999. <laughs> wow. Actually, we bought our first house. It was 1999 when we bought our first house. So. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I, and we always say like, imagine what we know now if we did it 20 years ago or more, you know, when we bought our first house, it's like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We'd be, you know. <laughs> 20 years from now, what you've done now, what it's going to look like, it's going to be amazing. So Yeah, that's yeah. true too. That's how I reassure myself too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also think capitalizing on, um, you know, like mentoring programs yeah. and, and yeah. learning from people who are doing it, you know, not just people who've done it, but people who are doing it right now. And that's yeah, what that's really love key. about the Mel and Dave thing. Just you know, they're doing it, and why reinvent the wheel? Yeah, uh, yeah. it works for them, then it works for others, and they're Canadian. They're a couple too, so I'm sure there's someone who's the gas, and the other one's the the <laughs> <brave couple. laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I hope there's not two gas pedals in the same boat. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how can somebody get a hold of you guys if they want to reach out and get to know you guys or maybe even invest with you? Lend you money. Oh, that would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're on Facebook uh, just as of right now under uh, Michael Leanne Properties. Okay, um, great. We've just formed our corporation. I've actually just transitioned our uh, Instagram over to... Uh, you know, Nicholson Property Investments. Um, and then I'm always available through email at uh, Mike B. Nicholson at yahoo.com. Okay, great. Yeah. Excellent. And you guys are always so nice and generous. My, I love, Leanne, I don't chat with you as often, no. but Mike, you get a lot of messages. Maybe it's you, like Jennifer does in disguise. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great to meet with you and talk to you. So yes. I'm sure people could benefit from reaching out to you and mm -hmm. learning from your experience and just, yeah, maybe even just learning about the board behind you, something then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we have, that's going to be our 2021 goal is putting a board like that into yeah. place. Yes, and use and it. And organizing all of those little bits and pieces of paper. Yeah. Well, yeah. And the nice thing too is if he's not around, I can come into the office and see where things are, right? right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Without even asking him, that's great. That's yeah. the question yeah. he always asks, what's next? I'm like, well, let me think and let me shuffle. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I'm like, what did you get done today? What do we have to do? I don't What's know. next? You know? <laughs> well, it also eliminates that. Didn't I tell you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I told you. Uh, so it, it alleviates a lot of those stresses, those conversations. That yeah, exactly. Like you can just see it all there on the wall. That's perfect. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah. And I love that it's the big post-its too, because it's it's so visual and it just uh, yeah. Do the different colors mean anything or just you ran out of pink and went to yellow or? No, it just keeps it kind of creative and, you know. Okay. Yeah, just have colors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's, maybe uh, that's just painter tape. <laughs> oh, perfect. It's very cheap wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And easy. Well, and you can just remove it easily if you're, if exactly. you don't do it anymore. If the house is sold when you yeah. come back from yeah. work. If the house is sold. Exactly. Back, well, <laughs> you can remove it. <laughs> <laughs> Francois is going to be in my house. Yeah, I just bought your house. Yes. Yeah, a great investment. I wish you should have kept it. I heard that the Sault Ste. Marie is a very hot market. <laughs> <It's appreciated. laughs> yeah. OPM, you guys did a 100% vendor take back. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, thank you so much for taking the time to yes. share thank your you story. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure, and uh, yeah, let's stay in touch. We can't wait to see what's next for you. And yes, absolutely. Well, yes, yeah. we'll own the half of Detroit by the time of twenty twenty one's over. We'll, we'll yeah. have yeah. to be there in we'll person. And we can yeah. be landlord neighbors in Detroit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, have a good evening. Thanks, guys. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.